Hey you guys, SEK the Homesteader here today. I want to show you guys multiple ways of using ladder mesh in your garden. You can use ladder mesh in your container gardening, you can use it in your raised bed gardening, and you can also use it in your metal firing um, grow pots as I use mine as grow pots. So there are, there are many, many methods to ladder mesh and um, it's very easy to use. They're very pliable. so. You don't need any type of hardware in order to get these um, put up wherever you're going to store them. But the first area right here is my fireplace ring right here. And if you want, you can use multiple. Y'all see how pliable they are? Okay, and you just shove them down. It's real simple. Now, if you're doing a uh, raised bed gardening, um, you can also use them in your raised bed area. And I'm gonna come here, and you just put one end down, and then I'll come over here. And you just tug on it, and you push it down. And yes, Hi Lily, that's for you. <laughs> you can use multiple of these going down your raised bed to create a hoop, like a, a hoop house to uh, cover up your crops with some protective cloth and that will work perfectly, okay? So now I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to put them in your container. see that easy peasy you guys let me get you guys up so and move you guys around so y'all see how easy that is very very easy to do now if you want you could actually take two of these um ladder meshes and you could bring them all the way up like if you're growing like um sugar snap peas vining peas and you can actually attach them with zip ties if you want to go, if you want uh, the length of them, you can actually attach them, bring two together and just attach them. It's very, very simple and easy, you guys. And here is my other container. Well, my fire ring right here. Y'all probably can't see that one, but here's my other fire ring right here. And when I tell y'all, it brings such a nice look to the garden and um this one over here i'm not going to keep this here because i have potatoes growing but for the multiple ways of showing you guys that's why i put it over there in the raised bed and i like the fact that you can remove these easily i do like the ladder mesh this is my first time using them and i do like them because they're they're very pliable and they're very easy to use and they're very inexpensive okay So, let me give you guys a look on how they look over here. All right. So, see how nice they look, you guys? Over there at the bucket very easy to use and if you want to double it up at the bucket you could do that as well and remember what i said you could use them over in your raised beds as well but i have potatoes growing over there which are doing really well you guys my potatoes is growing y'all see that greenery over there y'all see that evergreen all right family so let me get back on over here for you guys so, as you can see, it is super easy to use ladder mesh in your garden. Very inexpensive. It brings a nice um, look to the garden as well. So, you can use them multiple ways. I actually use them on my, uh, my newly made refrigerator raised bed, which looks like a wagon. <laughs> it looks really nice. So, I like the way that turned out, even though... Um, I have to figure out a way to get those those staples out of that wood because those was not the right staples. Those staples was too too big. 
but overall it looks nice um and i just wanted to bring you guys a video on how to use ladder mess in your yard multiple ways so i hope you guys enjoyed this um video um i did have to go to home depot because we don't have a home depot here so i had to travel to home depot and get the ladder mesh because they don't sell ladder mesh in Lowe's. All right, family? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Get you some ladder mesh. Very inexpensive. Looks wonderful in the yard and you can use it multiple ways. All right, family? So this is SEK The Homesteader. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.